I'm sure you've seen the polls across social media platforms where characters from Scream would face off against each other with the winner moving on in the bracket. However, a one and done bracket doesn't really let us know who is the best of the best. So we did something a little bit different here at Nerdbox. We featured 12 of the female characters from the Scream universe in a points bracket in over 60 matchups, garnering over 16,000 votes and all of you have determined the top five characters of all time. Whether it be the resourceful Sydney Prescott, to the fiercely ambitious Gail Weathers, to a dark horse like Jill Roberts. These women have established their firm presence in the world of horror and remained memorable long after the credits have rolled. To continue celebrating Women History Month in horror, here are the five best female characters in the Scream franchise that you all voted for. Tara Carpenter. Scream 5 introduced us to a slew of new characters. None of them stand out more than Tara, portrayed by Jenna Ortega. She is the first character to survive an opening kill. And after the events of the hospital, we see Tara begin to undergo a transformation from victim to fierce survivor not to be reckoned with. Unlike any other character in the franchise, Tara is the only character that refuses to let the tragic events of her past define her. Before you make the unilateral decision to abandon my college education and flee the fucking state. Instead, she is determined to move on and live her life as we see it in the sixth film. And when that's threatened, she's willing to bring the fight to Ghostface and almost seems satisfied in killing off those threats. Now there was a scene in particular to me that stood out in Scream 5 that declared her as a badass. At the end of Scream 5, we see that she is about to be taken away in an ambulance without Sam. That look on her face as she calls out to Sam was a glimpse into the character that we would get in the next film. Don't worry, I'm gonna hold your hand all the way there. Tatum Riley. In the whirlwind of blood curling events in Scream, this vibrant character, Tatum Riley, played by Rose McGowan, shines through as Sydney's loyal confidant. Unfailing, witty, and quick with a retort, Tatum brings a much needed levity to the often grim proceedings. Her razor sharp humor, coupled with an unbashed fearlessness, mark her as a standout character even amidst a crowd of unforgettable personalities. Andy, man, no, his heart's broken. It's due. Why are they doing this? Are you kidding me? Look at this place, it's like Christmas. Stupidity leak. Although Tatum's journey was cut short in the original movie, she lives as an indelible mark on the franchise. Us as the audience gets a taste of her captivating charm and unyielding spirit, traits that elevate her beyond just another victim of Ghostface, and remains vivid in our memories today. Her friend- God, I loved it. I'll send you a copy. Bam! Bitch went down. I'll send you a copy. Bam! Sid! Super bitch! Her friendship with Sydney, marked by protective loyalty and unconditional support, enriches the film's narrative. Tatum, with her biting wit and bold spirit, remains an iconic figure, embodying a memorable blend of strength, sass, and unwavering friendship in the face of horror that we all have loved to see survive and continue in the universe by Sydney's side. And I'm gonna tell you, I was shocked by her ranking being this high. Cute. What movie is this from? I spit on your garage. Lose the outfit. If Sydney sees it, she'll flip. Oh, you want to 
to play psycho killer? <laughs> Can I be the helpless victim? Okay, let's see. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. Can I help you? Special Agent Kirby Reed, FBI. Kirby Reed. Navigating through the labyrinth of horror that is Scream. Kirby Reed, portrayed by Hayden Panettiere in Scream 4, stands as a firm representative of the new era and one of the most beloved characters in the Scream universe since her introduction in Scream 4. With the exception of Stu, Kirby is one of the most requested characters to return in the franchise since Scream 4 wrapped. She is a contemporary horror film enthusiast with a deep understanding of the genre's mechanics and a dark humor that lightens the mood in even the most chilling circumstances. Two, what's your favorite scary movie? It was The Killer's Voice. From Stab? Or, I mean, you know, from your life. I'm Kirby, by the way. I'm their friend. We all fell in love with that girl next door charm that she brought to the film. With her firm grasp on the rules of a horror film, she still finds herself in Ghostface's crosshairs. Even when faced with the grim reality of her situation, Kirby's charm, coupled with her impressive knowledge, adds depth to the character and endears her to her fans, making her one of the most unforgettable women in the Scream franchise. I didn't want to spend the rest of my life being afraid of monsters. I wanted the monsters to be afraid of me. Gail Weathers. Courtney Cox masterfully captures the evolution of a career-driven tabloid reporter, Gail Weathers, forcing you either to love her or hate her. Her journey begins with her being hungry for a big break, often putting her professional goals ahead of her considerations. Yet as the franchise unfolds, she evolves into a key player in the battle against Ghostface. Her initial hard-nosed persona makes her unexpected transformation into a selfless team player all that more compelling. It's not just her ambition that drives her now, but a courage that compels her to risk her own life for the sake of others. Can you one of those? Is she dead? This transformation is fully realized by Scream 6, where Gale is no longer just an ambitious reporter looking to make a quick buck, but an investigator using her inside connections to bring an end to Ghostface. This shift in character offers viewers a fascinating arc to follow as they watch Gale morph from a relentless career woman into an undaunted fighter an indispensable ally. Listen, in about two seconds, I'm going to revitalize your face with my tarnished brand. I still got it. Hello? Sydney Prescott. Without a doubt, there is one queen in the Scream franchise, and in my opinion, she is the ultimate final girl in the horror genre. Every journey through the Scream franchise is inevitably tied to the unflinching Sydney Prescott with the exception of the last film. She is the steadfast protagonist who bears the brunt of Ghostface's relentless attacks. She is brought to life by the exceptional performance of Ned Campbell and shines a light as the archetypal final girl. God, why don't you stop your whining and get on with it? I've heard this shit before! Stop! You know why you kill people, Roman, do you? Don't want to hear it! Because you choose to! There is no one else to blame! God, fucking damn it! Why don't you take some fucking responsibility? Fuck you! Fuck you! This role, typically reserved for the sole survivor of the movie's terrifying bloodbath, but Sydney takes it a step further. She defies the genre stereotypes with her remarkable bravery and her intelligence as she reshaped how we see final girls and women in the horror genre today. There's a reason why you cannot just kill off Sydney in a film, because of what she represents. Her tenacious nature, under relentless threats, cements her status as more than just a mere survivor. Sid, in fact, emerges as a fearless combatant against evil that haunts her life. 
we witness her transformation from a frightened teenager in the first Scream film to a seasoned combatant by the fifth installment, creating an enduring connection with her. Her resilience and fighting spirit makes her a beacon of hope, representing not just survival, but triumph over adversity. Sounds about right. You ready for this? Never. So I hope everybody enjoyed this bracket challenge across all of our social media platforms. So here on YouTube, on Facebook, and our sister Facebook pages, The Horror Family and Women of Horror. And with the release of this video, we're kicking off another screen bracket. So head over to our community page or Facebook if you want to vote twice to check out what we're doing. Now I just want to take the time out to say thank you for tuning in for another episode of The Pop 5. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to do something outside of the typical 9 to 5. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. It takes 7 seconds. If you don't believe me? Time it and let me know in the comments. Drop a like on this video if you like what we did. Drop a comment just to say hi or let me know what you think of the placement of our female characters this month. And until the next, see ya.